This video is for class 1 from book Math Magic and in this I am taking the topic data handling. First of all, I will explain you what is data. Let's see. Information collection usually in numerical form or by observation uh, is called a data. It can be qualitative or quantitative both in nature. For example, how many flower pots are in your and your friend's house? means you have to observe the flower pots in your house and as well as your friend house then you can collect the data next you can count number of cars in your nearby five houses number of scooters in your nearby five houses number of bicycles in your nearby five houses means here we are taking the vehicles in only the five houses near your own house, house. And you have to write down these numbers means in this way you are observing these things in those houses and after observing you write down here means you are collecting something in the form of numbers so you are collecting a data but for class 1 what is uh, easy way to introduce a data handling is a pictorial form so we are taking up a picture from your book and with the help of this we are explaining you the data handling like this this is a picture and in this form these are the questions based on this picture you what you have to do is you have to count the shape in the above pictures means the triangle how many triangles are there in the whole picture how many uh, squares how many uh, rectangulars and how many circles are present in the picture given on in your book and after this you have to do what is uh, the name of the shapes occur the most that is a triangle and the that occur the least least means the uh, small n number the smallest number of um, these uh, shapes so after doing this uh, a simple observation you can do the data handling and you can learn what is it the next exercise given you is that these are these children are friends count the number of letters in each name means these are the name of the, uh, the children and if here you have to write down the number of letters come in each name and after doing this you have to do uh, complete this exercise means how many names have four letters how many names have five letters how many names have six letters and which I have done for you and in the second part of this exercise how many times s comes in all the names taken together how many times uh, a comes in all the names taken together in this way you can complete your exercise in the book and for practice in your notebook you can do this exercise which i have given for you, to you for practice write name of uh, your family members all family members and write numbers of alphabets against each name like means uh, if the name is Ravi how many letters are there for like this name the uh, now what you have to collect data is write down the name having the least number of alphabets means the smallest name of your family member and in the second question find the name having most or the maximum number of alphabets in this way you can uh, revise the data handling uh, exercise and you can learn it easily it is a very interesting and very um, easy part of the mathematics children usually love to do this part and if you like this you can like and share and subscribe your uh, to your friends and kindly subscribe this channel so that it can reach the maximum number of children till uh, for the uh, till then next video thank you for watching it